Rick, because Benko's on a, a bit of a run yeah. right now, and you were kind of alluded to that earlier. In your eyes, what, what did he need to do to be that productive of a player? I haven't really watched him too much, but, it, you, you know, you give him time and space, he's a dangerous guy. He can let you make plays. You know, I think, uh, I think he's playing with Kadri, right? And, uh, you know, I've always been a fan of Kadri. It looks like Kadri's playing for some, you know, he, you know, whatever he's playing for, he's playing really well. And, and when kuzi has got it going, those two guys, you know, they can, they can make things happen. So it's a dangerous line uh, we're facing tonight. Rick, any lineup changes for tonight other than the goaltender? Uh, no. Uh, Demmer, obviously, is the only guy that uh, changed. You guys uh, had a game with a lot of stakes on Saturday in Edmonton, playoff field to it. This one may not have that. How do you recreate any level of urgency for you guys? Yeah, I, I think it comes from us. Um, you know, actually, you know, Calgary's record last bunch of games and playing well. Um, we got some guys that are hot. So, you know, we, you, you know, you know, I've been on the other position side before, so, you know, we don't want a loose game. But we, we want to play our style. And I think that's really what it comes down to. Um, and, you know, I, I – don't really have to say anything. The players know it. So, uh, you know, just be ready for the puck drop. Rick, what do you like about the second power play unit spending some time before practice today, just getting out there work with Henrik? Yeah, it was Lindy and uh, Heronic. They wanted to get the guys out early, just them as a unit. So it's uh, it's always good when you get guy leadership take over sometimes. And just they want to work on some reps. Um, you know, they can be important for us. Uh, fan appreciation night tonight uh, with the last home game. What uh – what are you giving the fans tonight to uh, appreciate what they've done tonight? Well, hopefully we can have them something to cheer about. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a, it's a nice night for the guys. You know, it's, it's been a long year. And uh, I think some guys will get recognized from the fans. It's, 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 you know, it's obviously a nice thing at the end of the year. But, you know, we got to be more, you know, that stuff's great. But I'm, it's business for me tonight. Rick, also the business, a win would bring this franchise 50 victories on the season. It hasn't happened that right. often. What do you think it would represent to the guys in the room to achieve achieve that? I know you guys have been so good about game after you know game to game to game, but fifty is a pretty significant number. What do you think? Well, it would I, represent? I think what's significant is you know started training camp and even last year you know a lot of you know I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong you know a lot of people didn't believe you know what, what we could have accomplished. So uh, we've got this certain plateau. There's another plateau to go. So I think you know we've answered that question is like hey you know. If we play the right our way, you know we could be successful, and I think it's a the guys should you know have a little swagger because of it. But then there's also you know another level, so I think that's the way you got to look at it. Rick, every year in the postseason, some player comes out of the yeah. shadows and lights it up. Uh, what is the potential of Dakota to perhaps be one of those guys, especially on the line that he's with? You talked yesterday about Lindholm and his smarts and and, and Garland's game. Would he have that kind of potential to take his game to another level? Yeah, it's funny. We were talking about it a couple of weeks ago. We were having dinner. The coach, we were talking about past history. You know, remember John Drews came from nowhere. Guys like that. Is there a guy on our team that can just come from nowhere and, you know, get hot? Um, I mean, there's a bunch of ca ca guys that can do that. I mean, um, you, you know, I, even I talked to some individuals. Even though you, some guys have scored one goal in, what, 30 games, one goal in 20. You hear all that stuff. It's a whole different ball of wax, right? You know, you can you can people just remember the playoffs. Like you could have a crappy year, or maybe just an average year, and you could have a good, you know, whether it's three, four, five, six, two months, and people just remember that. So um, that's motivation. So could it be him? Yeah, could be a bunch of guys. Rick, what have you seen from uh, Elias Lindholm of late that gives you optimism? Uh, it's for me just uh, a lot easier for me for matchups. Um, you know, I think I've stated a lot that his two-way game. You know, I thought, um, you know, there's certain spots where, you know, the penalty kill, him in there has helped me too also um, spread out the minutes. And I just think it balances our lines a lot better when he's in, in the slot there where he's at. And it's safe to say it just took him a while to kind of get – it has taken him a while to get up to speed. Yeah, a couple, maybe early in the system. I bounce, in all fairness, I might bounce them on the wing. I bounce them on a couple of lines. Like, you know, I, I ping pong them around a little bit. Then he's, you know, he had a, an injury, you know, nagging injury. So it, it's, it's hard to, you know, he's been in a tough spot. Um, but, you know, this is why we acquired him for this, this part of the season. Rick, uh, another coaching change in the NHL this morning, and there's probably going to be more here at the end of the I season. I didn't hear. Oh, yes. uh, Don Granado, Granado in oh, Buffalo. Sure. I, I think 
it's 14 teams have made coaching moves since you were hired, which was like yesterday or 14. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Just sort of a philosophical question. Like the pressure to win, obviously, I mean, the churn, and I know it's easy to change a coach <laughs> as opposed to 20 skaters, but like how difficult is that when you hear that kind of number and just know that in a couple of your buddies, you've talked about Baruti yeah. and out of work, like how tough is that in that line of work? Well, it's tough. I mean, I, we were talking about, you know, whatever they were talking about, Jack Abs races and all this sort of stuff. And it's just changes daily because Craig Bruby, what three, was it three, four wins the Stanley cup, Todd McClellan, you know, very good coach gets fired. Um, you can go down a list of guys, uh, Lenny Ruff, what last year at a hundred and, Something points, so yeah. I guess you, yeah. I guess you just rent wherever you go. <laughs> I don't think you get to unless it's Florida or a destination spot. But no, I, all like, there's there's a lot of good coaches, and sometimes it's whatever happens happens. And you, in this business, you have to have a, you have to have like a thick skin. You have to, or you, you won't survive. And you got to be able to be decisive in your that's the one thing you got to be decisive if you know you, you got your circle who you listen to but if you listen to too many people i think you're going to be in an unemployment line a lot quicker i think but yeah really good just to follow on that rick i remember you said i think it was the end of last season that you're not here f for a single or to bunt your way on that you were you know swinging for the fence yeah. is do you think you've done that this season with what you've been able to achieve? Well, with with my staff, yeah. I, th I think there's certain decisions you got to go with, and if you're wrong, I mean, if you go for three, you know, you're probably, I'm one of the guys going to get fired. You got you to gotta swing for it. You know, there's certain things I believed in this year to do, and thank God they worked out, but if they don't, then you're, you know, then you got to answer the questions, right? So, um, yeah, I think that's what I've learned over the last bunch of years is, like, I'm not going to be wishy-washy and because and, and, the players can see it. And I think if you're more decisive, you got a better sh chance of sta sticking around for a while. So, yeah, I think, I, I think myself with the staff have swung the bat on some of our decisions, yeah. Rick, just two games to go. There's still a possibility of maybe even finishing first in the yeah. West. I'm wondering if there was one point in this season where you saw that it really clicked for this hockey team where not only did they start believing in themselves, but realized, yeah, we could be a good hockey team and, and we could do damage in the playoffs. Was there one thing or, or one week or earning that stands out to you? Well, I, I think the th first 50, we didn't face any adversity. Like, you know, a lot, a lot of things went our way, you know, bounces, some good calls or whatever. And the last, say, 30, we've, you know, maybe we, we're not, in the, or it's a short end of the stick of those other things, right? We're, we're not getting the bounce or we're not as lucky or whatever you, you guys want to call it. But there's been some times where we look like we're down and out and we'll come, we, you know, we're on the road trip, you beat LA, you beat Vegas. Uh, you know, the other night we beat Vegas, we beat Edmonton, Edmonton. Like, yeah, there's some sprinkled, some some efforts that, I shouldn't say efforts, we lost, but I think we've always been, I think, and I think if you ask the guys, a resilient team, the last 30. You know, things haven't gone our way certain times. Denver's been out for, what, how many games? 15, 16. Um, some other stuff has happened, uh, guys are dealing with, and I think, We've bounced back, so that's a good thing going to the playoffs, knowing that you know you could look horrible one night in a playoff game and the next day win and get right back in the series. And you have to have that resiliency uh, if you want to survive. <laughs> oh, I think you don't have to spend all these. <laughs> <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.